Alright, so this is our tents and just the, all around us we have these huge mountains. It's really beautiful. Hey Josh, how are you enjoying the trail? Not much. <laughs> it blows. <laughs> Hey Josh, we've been hiking for 12 and a half hours, how are you feeling? 13 hours and... Action. Hey Josh, how are you doing? Pretty good dude, how about you? Good. Day 4, it's uh, 10 past 11. It's a beautiful day and we're so tired from uh, our... <laughs> <laughs> adventure of yesterday that we're gonna we're gonna just relax today recover drink water eat food in preparation for tomorrow's uh, attempt to summit peak Talgar yeah man yesterday we hiked for how long 14 hours about, that. about 14 hours over uh, lots of snow and crevices how many crevices we, we probably um, passed like 50 50 crevices. Eric fell into two. <laughs> One of which was up to here. So that was funny, in a way. It's also kind of scary. And our camp is over there. And that camp's at 12,500 feet. Yeah, our camp is at 3,800 meters approximately. So Sergey and Eric are discussing gear. And uh... <laughs> you can see they're getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sergey's about ready to cook some lunch. This is our tent, and we are uh, camping just below uh, the main glacier here that will take us to Peak Talgar. So uh, you can see the, uh, this huge glacier that goes way down in the valley and goes way high. Can we see? Way high up there, continues all the way up to these mountains. Probably like 20 kilometers long or something. Okay, it's uh, 6.55 and uh, we're all here together. Where is Sergey? Sergey is there in the tent. We just had dinner and uh, we had the uh, chicken teriyaki, believe it or not. And uh, mixed with ramen noodles. And today was a rest day for uh, mostly me because I've been uh, listening to my iPod while these guys climbed on that glacier over there. Let's go and find the route, and they have found the route. So, what, what is the route, guys? Where are we going tomorrow morning at uh, 4 o'clock? We don't know where we're going yet, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. The middle of that glacier. Excellent. Sounds good. So uh, it's seven o'clock. We're almost ready for bed, although it's pretty early. We gotta wake up at three. Eric is very excited about that. Yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we'll film uh, our departure tomorrow very early and show you uh, our way to Talgar, which is somewhere over there, over and out. Day five, it is uh, four o'clock in the morning. We got up an hour ago. Sergey is uh, all ready. We have Eric there. We can't see much, it's pretty dark. Can you switch on your headlight, uh, Josh? There's Josh. How are you doing, Josh? Ready to roll, dude. Josh is ready to roll. We have the moon, and uh, he can't see anything else, but we'll show you later. Let's go climb a mountain. Hey Josh, what time did you say it was? 5.30? It is 5.30, the sun is rising, and we're roped up, walking up the glacier. The mountain is over there. No idea how we're gonna climb that thing. I don't even know if that is the summit or if that is the summit, but let's see. 7 o'clock, we are at the base, the very base of Talgar. We're gearing up and we're going to ascend this mountain. I'm gonna show you the route. We're gonna 
uh, uh, go follow that uh, go over that mound there and then try to uh, go in between those cornices over there uh, right here and then try to make our way to the summit which is over there Josh is gearing up Eric is gearing up we're gonna do this. See Sergey coming up shortly from down there. He's a bit slow today. We're gonna fix some rope for him later to help him ascend the mountain. Magnificent. Hi, Josh. Hello. It's uh, 9:54, uh, oh, and. Uh, we uh, are here trying to climb a different route. We went. Second rope. We went all the way there. We used two ropes. It was too dangerous. Now we're gonna try this one. Now we need the second rope. So talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, 10 to 12, and we have not submitted Talger. <laughs> <laughs> we got our ass kicked. Uh, basically what happened is that the uh, we first uh, started going uh, that route and we made it pretty far high but all of these cornices up there started chipping and uh, we had to go through uh, crevices and the avalanche danger just went too high for us to continue so we turned around came all the way down here traversed here and then attempted to reach that ridge over there and uh, once, uh, when, when we re reached that area over there, uh, all the, uh, the signs of uh, wet slabs avalanche were uh, on red. That means uh, quality of the snow, slope, sun exposure, everything. And uh, we came down and uh, we saw a few avalanches coming down there, here, everywhere. The whole thing is just falling apart. It's too dangerous, not worth our lives. I would add one thing though. Let's add one thing. We did make it to 15,630 feet, which is yes. higher than I've ever been. So, true. Up like there was the... That's that. Yes. Discretion is a better part of valor. Yes, absolutely. We're still alive for now. We're still alive. Yeah, that's right. We got crevasses too. We got to the highest in, so. point. Oh. We got to the highest. Oh, Josh has a hole. So we got to the highest point we ever went up there and we're 600 meters short of Talgar and we're still alive. Now we're gonna go back and uh, chill out no, there ain't gonna be a whole lot of chill out. <laughs> <laughs> and decide what's next. See you later. Day six, it's about uh, 8.30, we're uh, breaking camp, and uh, we're gonna go to Lake Akol, or not far from it. Uh, this has been a, a nice spot to camp, although all this is ice. I mean, you can see rock, but it's basically uh, a thin layer of rock over ice. So we've been camping on ice for three days. It's been cold and damp, but beautiful. We saw the scenery. So we're leaving uh, Calgary Base Camp. Everybody's a bit bummed that yesterday the conditions didn't allow us for uh, a successful climb. But uh, it's been uh, it was it was uh, it was a, a very interesting uh, double attempt. We gave everything we had in, in the end. I mean decision to survive and stay alive was stronger and I think today we're all pretty happy to be alive so that's pretty good. So now we're gonna start heading back to Almaty. Uh, 